Hello and welcome to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. I welcome you all to my page. Um, I appreciate you so much for coming here to spend a moment with me while I give you some messages from Spirit. Um, this reading is for uh, January 15th to the end of the month and this is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Um, I've already meditated and prayed over these cards. If um, the message doesn't resonate with you, please find out what your uh, moon, rising, and Venus, Mercury signs are via the birth chart uh, link that I have in my page. Uh, take what will, leave what does not. You know, everything does not resonate. I do understand that, and I apologize if it does not. Um, I hope that you guys all are having a great uh, start to the new year. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, uh, so that you'll know when I'm posting these readings. That'd be wonderful. I appreciate it. And let's get into it. Uh, Pisces, you have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So there's something that you want to do or being called to do, um, or something you don't want to do. <laughs> um, I'm really feeling it's something that you want to do. I'm really feeling like you have something on your mind right now, uh, Pisces. And it's very important to you, whatever this thing is. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. Um Whatever it is that you're thinking of, you actually have the wisdom within to either make it better, resolve it, okay? Whatever the situation is, you can do this, right? You just have to go within, listen to your intuition, right? Surrender all your worries and concerns to the universe, okay? Even if you have to write this down and journal, do whatever you need to do to get this, the feelings out, so that you can either heal them, resolve them, move past them. Okay? You have to have faith in yourself. You have to have faith in the universe. Okay? You have to know that your prayers have been heard and that you have been given the wisdom that you're seeking. Okay? To get through whatever is going on. You're being called to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Stop giving your power away to other people, okay? You have to trust your gut, trust your intuition, know that you know your your higher self within is directing you to do what it is that you need to do, okay? Don't second guess yourself. Don't think about, okay, you know, up, down on, on, on the decision, you know, just know that you are wise. You see this owl? That's you, Pisces. That's you. I believe that this is your higher self looking at you, your 3D self. Trying to reassure you that you got this. All right? I believe so. If you're thinking about something, you know, you find yourself thinking about the same thing, pay attention. Write it down. Okay? Research it. Try to figure out what you need to do. You also have the messenger of fire card. Look, her, her head is burning. <laughs> that card is funny to me. I'm sorry. Her head is on fire. Are you thinking too much? Are you in your feelings? She looks real mad right now. She looks stubborn, right? I don't know what's going on. Ooh, are you in your feelings, um, um, Pisces? Are you being stubborn about something? You know? Okay. This is why I'm going to call this card. This is my fierce card. Okay? This is my determined card. She looks like she's saying, you know what? I'm going to do it. I don't care what you say. Mm -hmm. Look. Head strong card. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call this. <laughs> right? You're surrounded by spirit, right? You have the power. You have this, this, and that. You have everything that you need to get everything done that you need to do. 
okay? He trusted your vision, okay? Is what you see it as. You have the desire, the fire, the knowledge to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to do. You do. Look at that determination in her, in her face. That's exactly what I see. I'm going to do it whether you want me to or not. You ain't stopping me. Whatever this is. Whew. You have turquoise. Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Yeah, look. That's what I'm saying. You're pushing forward for something. Okay? You're pushing forward. You're doing what you need to do. Okay? To make this life path, the spiritual path, happen. Or whatever is going on. Hmm. Why am I feeling, Pisces, that you're charging towards somebody? Why am I feeling like you in your head because you want somebody and you trying to figure out what you got to do to go get them? Spirit says you have the inner wisdom and you already know what to do. That's what I'm feeling. Look, you have moonstone, heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. Mm -hmm. That inner wisdom telling you that you need to trust it. Because you know more than you think you know. That's what I'm hearing. You're very wise, Pisces. Whether you know it or not, you are. And Spirit is saying... You know exactly, okay, exactly what it is that you should be doing right now. I love it. That's beautiful. Spirit is saying that you're on a spiritual path. This may be a path to a person, a path to a destiny, a path to something that spirit is giving you. Okay. You are on your path right now. This could be your job. This could be school. This should be, this could be you um, becoming a spiritual teacher. You know, this could be you in a twin flame, a soulmate relationship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. You could be right now in a relationship with someone where you guys don't have the same relationship and you might have a little issue trying to communicate about it. Right? Spirit is saying just go ahead and pray about, about that. Okay? Give it to them so that they can heal it. But you have the heightened intuition. You know what to do regarding this situation. I'm telling you, half of this feels to me like it's a relationship. The other half feels like it could be an opportunity of some nature that you're trying to go after here. And okay, the relationship could also be an opportunity. But yeah, look, you also have life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Hmm. Hmm. You have aquamarine, divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Pisces, are you in a recurring cycle with somebody? Are you doing the same thing over and over again? Are you in your feelings about it? Are you trying to, to, to figure out what you want to do? Okay. I'm really feeling like this is a twin flame or soulmate situation here. When I see recurring cycles, especially when I feel like it's with a person, that's got to be something, some, some sort of lesson you're meant to learn with that person that you um, 
Either you're not learning, um, the other person's not learning, and you guys are finding yourself doing the same thing, you know? I'm really feeling like you need to go within and check your intuition, you know? Meditate. Ask spirit to help you figure out what it is that you need to do to break the pattern. Heal the pattern, let the pattern go so that you can get to the next phase of whatever's going on. Also, when I when I see this card, anything having to do with the moon, I'll, I also feel like if this is a female, and I know this reading can be for a male or a female, but just specifically speaking to the females right now, you may be going through female issues like fibroid tumors or, you know, bleeding heavy or something of that nature, endometriosis, something. Just be mindful, okay? Might be something of that nature. Maybe. With the spiritual path, you also, like I said, you have aquamarine, divine life purpose. And I feel like spirit is trying to show you what it is that you need to do. You know, maybe you have a passion about something. Maybe you know how to do something really, really well. And spirit is saying, you know what? It's time for you to make money in that thing, you know? Or may maybe, maybe. You've been in a relationship and you don't know if you want to pursue it or not or if you want to stay in it or not. And it looks like spirit is saying, hey, you know, trust your path, you know, you know, it's go within. Ask us the questions so that we can answer you. This is what I'm feeling. Now you have Mary Magdalene unconditional love love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearances may be again this brings me back to some sort of relationship pisces is someone not treating you the way that you would like to be treated are you not treating someone the way that they should be treated you know I keep going back to this card because it just looks like you're in conflict with somebody. It just really does. It looks like you all in your feelings. Are you arguing with someone? Are you at odds with someone? And you guys are just not getting along or seeing, you know, the same thing right now? And you also have the love card. Look at this. This has to do with love. I do believe, okay, you need to elevate yourself, elevate your vibration, okay? Work on doing that so that you can get out of whatever stance this may be. It seems that you, like I said, are in a protective stance over something, you know, and it has to do with some sort of relationship issue, you know? We all have the power to come together with the one we love and speak about everything. We can talk it out, okay? The other person may not be as receptive, but if two people are coming together to speak, okay? They have the power to heal a, a situation, right? If anybody has hurt you or done something to you where you're in your feelings about it, you have to release that, okay? Just go ahead, release, the, release that. Give them unconditional love, okay? Give them unconditional love and release whatever pain that you may be feeling, okay? Okay? You have to forgive people so that you can get to the next phase of your life. Are you holding on to something that, are you angry with someone? It seems, yeah, this is weird. 
very weird for me, you know. I'm getting different, different readings from this, you know. It seems that, okay, I'm going to be 100 with you. It seems like you love somebody, but you're fighting yourself, trying to figure out what you want to do with them, and you're being stubborn over here, okay? And you're being told to 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 stay on your path if this is a twin flame or or um, a soulmate condition, okay, a situation. You know, you you're you've got heightened intuition. Your intuition is trying to tell you about this person, or spirit is trying to speak to you about this situation, okay? But it seems that this could be a situation where you you're going through the same thing over and over again. So either you or that person keeps doing the same damn thing. And not necessarily doing the thing that you're supposed to do. If that makes any sense. Okay. All right. This card right here. I just want to talk about it. Look at it. She looks like she's taming the beast. Look, they're so calm together. Isn't this something? It's beautiful. You can give and receive love. That's what I feel with this card. You just have to make the choice to give unconditional love. Forgive the person. Forgive the situation. Forgive what happened. Forgive yourself. And move past it. Look. Emetrin. Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. You have to utilize all of the energy within yourself, okay, to get through this situation, okay? Our aggressive side is that masculine side, and that emotional side is that female side, that feminine side. You know, you're being told to balance that and have a good balance of it to get through this situation, you know? Spirit is saying that's the only way you're going to get through right the only way is if you have balance balance is not easy i'm a sagittarian balance is my card and i tell you it bites me in my ass all the time i'm trying to figure out how to balance i know when i'm off kilter off balance my whole life is in shambles i'm trying to always try to figure out a way to get back to being a balanced person you know I'm going to tell you a funny story. You know, up until earlier today, you know, no one could have told me that, you know, I wasn't an attractive female. And I said to my, I just actually stared at myself when I was at work today in the mirror. And I go, you're such a pretty person, a, pre a beautiful woman inside and out. But you need, <laughs> you need to learn to balance your masculine and feminine energies a little bit better. Because, you know, as you're running around here, not putting on no makeup, not doing anything, just, just, just being natural, you know, just, you know, plain Jane, you know, this, this, and that. Yes, you're beautiful. But it doesn't hurt, okay, to come out of your masculine side. I'm a network engineer, people. And I'm always in the field with men, so I'm always dressing a certain way. But it doesn't hurt to be feminine. And, and I have to remember that I have to have that balance as well, okay? Yes, I have to have health, fitness, beauty, you know? I have to nurture myself. A lot of times I don't even take care of myself. I'm taking care of my kids and other people. And there's no one taking care of me. That's balancing. That is still balancing energy. You know? Something may be stressful for you, Pisces. You have to make sure that you're doing everything possible to get through that situation the best way that you can. Okay? So balance those energies in order to get so. And guess what? If you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship and this is stressful with this love situation, unconditional love you're being um, asked to give, 
okay? It could be that there's no equal give and take here. And this is why you're in your feelings. You have to balance that as well. And if this is not something that you're getting, you need to have a conversation about it, Pisces. Okay? Speak to your to you know, your your angels of your higher higher self. Speak to you, your universe. Let them know what it is that you need. If the other person is not being receptive, you know, pray about your situation. Now, you have titanium rainbow quartz, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you are asking about. Okay? Well, whomever this person is, they got you all in your feelings, Pisces. All right? Whoever they are, <laughs> they have a lot of different things going on with them. Okay? And they could be confusing. Right? They could be up one day, down the next day, hot one day, cold one day. You never know. And this could be male or female. You know? They could be causing you to be in your feelings or feel like you need to, you know, go within. She looks exhausted. <laughs> Even though this is a love card, she looks tired. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but there's no way in hell that I'm taking a nap on a lion. She's beat. She's so tired that she don't even give a shit that she on a lion. Okay? <laughs> they don't wore your ass out, whoever this is, Pisces. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just cracking up at myself. I'm so stupid. I cannot with myself. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? This other person may be doing things that you do not agree with. They may be doing things to confuse you, to have you all up in your feelings, to piss you off, okay? You know, I mean, don't we do this while we're in relationships sometimes? You know, this is what we do, right? But I really do feel good about this situation. I feel like there's hope. I feel like you guys just have to come together. You guys just have to have some good communication. Okay? You know? Have that conversation. Hey, stop the shit. I'm standing next to you. I want this. I want you. You know? You got to do what you got to do. Pray together. Pray for each other. Now, calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Now, are you busy because you're doing stuff for other people, Pisces? Is that why you're busy? Are you neglecting yourself? Are you in your feelings because this person is neglecting you and you're doing all the work? I'm seeing some sort of strain here. Are you keeping yourself busy because of this stress and strain? You could be working long hours, staying away, staying out with your friends, your, your male friends, your female friends, whatever you're doing in order to escape the situation. Either way, you're being called, okay? I believe you're being called to work on this. I really do, Pisces. I think that this is something that you're supposed to do. Let's go ahead and pull you a spirit message. Let's see what spirit has to say to you. Ooh, 
That's too many, Spirit. Okay, you know what? I'm here for it. Spirit gave them to me, so maybe you need to hear about these. Let's see what they're talking about. I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. Recalibrate. Reset. Get past this section here where you're pissed off or you're angry or you're exhausted. Recharge. Okay? And commit to love and joy. True manifesting is about receiving which is of the highest good for all. Right? So that may be you and your feelings trying to manifest the outcome of the situation. Feeling good will bring me far than whatever I thought I needed. Hmm. I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. My true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. And I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Look at this. You have the inner wisdom from the universe. That you're on a spiritual path. Okay? You have heightened intuition. The universe is talking to you right now. About these life lessons that you're being called to learn. And this is a divine life purpose. Okay? Of you mastering your your masculine and feminine energies. Okay? With this individual that be, may be getting on your damn nerves right now. Okay? And you are doing everything in your power. Okay? To appease yourself or make yourself busy, okay? Trying to stay busy in order to not deal with the situation. You definitely have to deal with whatever this is, Pisces. Ooh, this is something. What I'm going to do is pull you one of these soulmate cards as soon as I get it. Okay. Let's, let's pull a soulmate card. And see what the spirit is trying to tell you about this union here. One more time. You are spiritually connected to those you love. See? Told you. You're on a spiritual path, okay? <laughs> and I'm probably in a recurring cycle with someone that you love here unconditionally. And this is why you're exhausted. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. Okay? Go within. You have the inner wisdom. Pisces to manifest the life that you need okay only you know what you need to do you and spirit work with spirit to try and make this situation what you need it to be okay and bottom of the deck everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear okay there you have it thank you so much Pisces uh, please like, share, and subscribe, as I said before, if you like this message, and I will see you at the end of the month. Take care.